is about the IBM Qiskit, about the measurement, right? So in order to do quantum teleportation in IBM Qiskit, you definitely need to, to do a lot of measurement. So the first thing I want to talk about, what is the meaning of the measurement in IBM Q? Measurement, as we said, right? First, you have some qubit, and of course, this is the MSB in IBM Q, we say many times already. And it also labeled it correctly because it called it Q2. And then this is the LSB, right? So when you write it, you actually go from bottom to top. For example, if the if it turned out to be zero, I mean one zero zero, if you go from bottom to top, then it gives you one zero zero instead of zero zero one. Is that okay? That's how you look read the output of the IBM Q. That's the first thing. Second thing is, whenever you do a measurement, it's going to save into a classical register. So here I have C4, it means I have four qubit class classical register. It's up to you to define how many qubit you want. And here you can choose what to save, save to which one, right? So basically, in this case, I have Q2, right, Q1, and Q0. I have three qubit, but it has three classical register. C3, C2, C1, and C0. Yeah, yeah, I, I deliberately do that. Uh, but hold on, uh, C4, yeah. But however, however, for classical register, when they label it, this actually is for four, this is for three, this is for two, this is for one. Okay, now let's look at the first one. The first, I start with, what is this? Zero, 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 right? What do you get after this? One, zero, zero, because of the not gates, right? So the first thing is that it measured the Q, the Q2 and save into register two. So, so I was wrong. Sorry, I, let me say again, I was wrong. I also got confused. Sorry. This should be three, two, one, zero. Okay. Let me finish this. If this is A, this is B, this is C. Before that, before that, if I call, no, no, let me don't call this. If I call this point as A, after here as B, after here as C, after here as D. At time A, what is the content of the register? No. Did I do any measurement of the classical register? Zero, 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 zero. Okay. At time B, what is the content of the classical register? Zero, one, zero, zero. Because I say measure Q2 and store into classical qubit 2. So that's why it's safe is C2, right? How about at time C? No, no, no. I, I, yeah, sorry, I keep doing the wrong thing. I just keep doing the wrong thing. Let me say again. So I, this one always I get confused. Uh, hold on. No, 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 I am right. Sorry, I I, I, <laughs> I keep doing the wrong thing. Okay, I am right. After C, what is that? One, one, zero, zero. Because I can measure it again, it's up to me. I'm just trying to show you the algorithm, how it works. It, it doesn't make sense to do this measurement, but what I'm doing is I measure Q2 and store in the classical register three. Okay? And then at D, what happened? 
Yes, because at D, I overwrite because I measure Q1, which is zero, then I will get this one. That's why I get zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, so I want you to understand how it works, right? So let's try more. For example, this one. On the, on uh, here, right? So I start with what at, at this place? This is zero, zero, zero for the quantum register. After here, what do you get? One, zero, zero. Yeah, because you have a knock gate. Okay, now, then let's start doing this, right? Very troublesome. If I call this A, this is B, C, D, E. Okay, start from A. What is the content of the classical register? Zero, 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 because all initialize to zero, right? What is the content at B? I measure Q2, and what should I get? I get one, right? Depends, zero, one, zero, zero. And then at C, I measure Q0, right? Which is zero, and I store at three, which, so no effect, right? How about at four? This one is saying that if your classical register equals to four, apply the knock gate. If C equal to four, apply not to Q1. Okay, so this is like log gates, right? But this is not, regu not a regular quantum control knot. It's like based on the classical information, you apply the knot. It's just like here. Alex Cobalt, if I get one, you apply the knot gate, okay? Otherwise, do not apply. No, no, this is not a circuit. This is, yeah, when you come to the classical parts, it's not a quantum circuit. It becomes, it will measure, go to the classical control computer, and then classical quantum computer is decide whether it's going to apply the knock gate. Remember what is a quantum circuit? It's not a real circuit. It's a microwave or a laser pulse. Whether you shoot that pulse or not depends on, on your controlling electronics. Yeah. Whether you want to apply a knock gate pulse depends on whether you get four. Is this four? It's four, right? So we are going to apply a knock gate. Because of this, this becomes what? What is the state here? One, one, zero. A little bit messy. This becomes one, one, zero, right? Because we apply the knock gate. So now I do a measurement on this qubit and I save to one, what would it be? This is still, I did not do any measurement and E becomes zero, one, one, zero. And that's what you get from IBM Q. Okay. Can you run this on a physical Yeah, yeah, just do this. Yeah, and IBM Q, you just choose the IBM Q, whatever physical quantum computer and you just get error. Yeah, you, you will get error, right? I mean, you will get this, but you have other solution because of the error. Yeah. And I have this circuit in my book, right? Just take a look and copy. You will see that, yeah. I mean, you won't get 100.0110 because of the gate error and free ping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you will get this. But then you also have some tiny error. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And even you don't talk about classical one, each of these are determined by classical computer, whether you want to apply the pulse, right? When you look at this circuit, you will think that apply hard to the second bit, apply control not to two this qubit. You do it by 
classical computer they are controlling. You don't really have a quantum circuit layout, right? The qubit are there for superconducting qubit. They are there, they are fixed. And then you apply the microwave pulse, whether you want to lock gates, control knob, or whatever. And so this is an easy task for classical computer. I measure what I get, then I decide whether to apply or not. It's just like what Alex did, right? Now this one will be different. Why? I won't go into detail. Everything is the same except what? Except I say if the classical register is free, I apply the knock gate. But is that free? No, right? We just go through this process. It is four, right? So this is not applied. So as a result, at this stage, you still have one zero zero. Okay? And then when you do the measurement, you get the D state, zero one zero zero. Yeah. No, when you do measurement, your classical QB must be collapsed to certain value. It cannot be superposition. Yeah. Yeah. So you either have zero or one. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, you are right. Sometimes when in different run you yes, might get you might get different results. Yes. And that can be part of yeah. Think about some algorithm, maybe it will make you famous. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, every run will be different, right? If it depends on the measurement. Okay? So finally, this is the quantum teleportation circuit you can implement on Hadama, on uh, IBM Qiskit. And the only thing I want to show you is this. What is the initial... Uh, so here I give you all the states, right? including first I do the superposition for the BBQ bit. Then I do an entanglement, and after that I do an uh, entanglement with the auxiliary qubit, so everything is prepared. And then Alex is going to do a measurement on the BB qubit. If I get two, means that one zero, because this is one, right? Then I will apply the not gate, just like here. If I get one, then I apply the not gate, okay? And after that we go to the full quantum teleportation circuit, Alice is going to measure in the plus minus basis. So here I did not go into details, but I just want you to let you know. Measure in plus minus basis is the same as applying Hadama gates and then measure in zero and one basis. Okay, uh, you can, I, I think I'm not going to prove it. You can read my book, uh, that chapter. You will clearly discuss why it is equivalent, right? That is because in your quantum computer, you it's uh, very expensive to measure in different bases. For example, think about the magnetic field and also um, yeah, magnetic field is difficult to rotate or whatever. But and also you want to just have a very good single measurement, um, single measuring apparatus, right? You don't want to have to multi multiple. Yeah. So that is what we're doing. Measure in plus minus basis. And then come here. Remember the last step here? We say that if Alex measure plus, do nothing. If Alex measure minus, then apply the Z gate, right? Minus is just like measuring one. And that's why if it is equal to four, we store this one, then we, are, we will apply the C gate. But at the same time, when Alex measure one, it can be one, one, zero. It also can be one, zero, zero. Right? Because you really don't know what happened to the second qubit. Okay, and because of this, we need to have two Z. If it is four, you apply Z gate. If it's six, we apply Z gate. Okay, so that you make sure that you apply a Z gate. But it won't happen at the same time because you only either four or six or other values, right? And then you do measurement. And basically, 
Alex start with zero, so uh, Bob will also get zero. I want to show you this, right? Do you see that? You get zero for all the possible outcome for Bob. Right? You have a lot of other combination because you have been measuring the ancillary qubit and also the Alex qubit, right? So it can collapse to anything, collapse to plus, collapse to minus. And this is related to what you just said. I have a Hadama gate and then I measure it, right? Sometimes I get one, sometimes I get zero. But the point is that Bob will get zero. Of course, this is not a proof, but this is show that it works because I start with zero, Bob does get zero, although actually Bob was zero at the beginning. But then you can try with different initialization and see what you get. Yeah. Once day you just add a log gate. So you cannot initialize. Uh, but uh, for simulation, you actually can, uh, not using this uh, lab, but use the code, you can initialize to a certain in uh, superposition, but only for simulation, as far as I know. For the real computer, it's difficult. Yeah, so all quantum algorithms start with this, start with zero. Okay, now, I actually want to, do not want to spend too much time on entanglement swapping, because this is also in your homework. And I would like you to Think about yourself and work in the homework, right? But it is very easy. What is entanglement swapping? Basically, again, it relies on the so on the quantum teleportation. So you see this Bob, Alex, and auxiliary bit, right? This whole thing is that we teleport tele teleport Alex state to Bob state. We go through all this entanglement measurement, etc. We teleport from here to here. And what is entanglement swapping? It's just like that. Maybe Alex is entangled with Carlos. We're in the same lab. Can I do something so that Bob in Berkeley can entangle with Carlos like I was entangling with the with Alex? You so see what I mean? All Not all three entangled. It was Alex entangled with Carlos. After this entanglement swapping, Bob will entangle with Carlos. And Alex is gone because of all this measurement. Her state is destroyed already. I think that makes sense, right? If I say that I can teleport myself to Mars, so is my wife still my wife when I teleport to Mars? Right? And if, let's say if the relationship is like entanglement, then I expect probably I should be able to keep the entanglement where I teleport myself to Mars. When I teleport myself, meaning teleport all my wave function state to there, right? And then that one in Mars or it must have the same mindset as me that treat my wife as my wife, as his wife in the Earth, right? So this is just like this. So what we are doing here is here just to create an entanglement as demonstration. Again, how do you do entanglement? Hadama gate, control knot. Then you come up with this entanglement state. After quantum teleportation, you will see that now the Carlos is entangled with Bob. I omit other qubit. The, this is a four qubit system. It should be C, A, B, 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 right? Four qubit. It should be something like this, right? C, A, B, 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 okay? But I just ignore them. For example, here I only take care of A and C, so I have this. After quantum entanglement swapping, A and B will be gone, and then you will have this. Not will be gone, we don't consider, we only care about if C and B are entangled. You see that they are entangled, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it cannot because you have done measurement here. So they need to record this. 
Yeah, so you need to uh, figure out yourself and now try to take a look. When Carol's is all zero, Bob's is all zero. When Carol's is all one, Bob is also all one. They are entangled. And we really don't care what happened to B, B, and A, right? They are out of picture. <laughs>